All right, this is your IM2, Module 4, Topic 1, Lesson 3, Notes. This is video two of two for this section. Our learning target for this video is I can solve quadratic equation in vertex form using the square root method. All right, so we know vertex form is y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. And when we have our equation, it's going to be equal to 0. So y is 0. So I just replace y with 0, so it's a times x minus a squared plus k equals 0. So our first example here is we're just going to solve 3 times x minus 4 squared minus 21. So the first thing we want to do is we want to move the 21 over here, so we're going to add 21, add 21. So then we get 3 times x minus 4 squared equals 21. Now, we cannot distribute here because we have a binomial here. So order of operations say we'd have to do the exponents before we do multiplication. So we can't do that. So how do we undo this 3 times the binomial? That's right. We're going to divide. So we're going to divide both sides by 3. Okay. So then I'm going to get x minus 4 squared equals 7. All right. Now I'm in business. We've isolated it, the binomial square. So we can undo the square using the square root method. So we're going to take the square root of both sides. Square root, square root. And when we do that, we know we're going to take the positive and the negative root. So then I get x minus 4 equals plus minus the square root of 7. All right. Now I want to solve for x. I want to add 4 to both sides. I can't put the 4 with the square root of 7, right? Those are unlike uh, terms, if you will, uh, using a whole number and a square root number. So i got to keep them separate. So I'm going to go plus 4, plus 4 on the right side of the equal sign, but in front of the plus minus. All right? So then I'm going to get x equals 4 plus minus the square root of 7. That is the exact solution, OK? If I want the approximate solution, well, what's the approximate square root of 7 is about, let's see, square root of 4 is 2, square root of 9 is 3. So it's, it's a little bit closer to 9 than 4, so we're going to say a little bit closer to the number 3. So maybe 2.6, 2.7, we'll call it 2.7. So this is going to be x equals approximately 4 plus or minus 2.7. So then you're going to get x equals... 4 minus 2.7, which is 1.3, and x equals 4 plus 2.7, which is 6.7. All right? Do another example. Sometimes they'll say find the roots in the directions. Same thing as solving, because we're going to turn y into 0. You could say find the zeros would be the same process, right? Change y to 0. All right? So now I'm going to add 50 to both sides plus 50, plus 50, and I'm going to change the order of this. I'm going to change this 2 times x plus 6 squared equals 50, right? It's just 50 on this side. I just flipped it. Now I want to undo it, so I divide both sides by 2, so I get x plus 6 squared equals 25. Again, I divide it by 2, divide by 2. Now I take the square root of both sides, so I get x plus 6 equals plus minus square root of 25. So x plus 6 equals plus minus 5. I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides. x equals negative 6 plus minus 5. Make sure you know what the plus minus symbol means. x equals negative 6 plus 5, negative 1. x also equals negative 6 minus 5, which is negative 11. Okay. All right. Here's one. Uh, this time there's no k value, right? So we have 0 here. So I'm going to divide both sides by 4. When I do that, I still get 0, because 0 divided by 4 is 0, equals x minus 2 squared. Square root both sides. This is a special case. When I take the square root of both sides, plus minus square root of 0 is just 0. And 0 is neutral, so we can't have a positive and negative 0. So we're going to have just x minus 2 is equal to 0. 
We're going to add 2 to both sides, and we're going to get x equals 2. So in this case, there's one root. What does that mean? What do you know about the parabola of this? If you looked at the graph, that's right. The vertex is on the x-axis at the point 2, comma 0. All right. All right, last example. So solve. Uh, this is going to be a special case here. We're going to subtract 16 from both sides. So we're going to get 2 times x minus 4 squared equals negative 4. Now we're going to divide by 2, both sides. So I get x minus 4 squared equals negative 2. Do you see what's going to happen here? Sure you do. All right? We're going to take the square root of both sides. Square root, square root, plus, minus. What happens here? x minus 4 equals plus or minus the square root of negative 2, which we know is not going to be a real solution. We can't have a square root of a negative number. There's no number times itself that gives you a negative, right? Because negative times negative, positive. Positive times a positive, it's positive. So it's impossible to have a square root number being a negative. All right, so our answer would be x equals 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 2. If we finished it off, and we'd say that is no real solution. Okay, what do we know about the graph of the parabola? The graph of this would be a parabola that either opens up and the vertex is above the x-axis, or a parabola open down and the vertex is below the x-axis. It doesn't cross the x-axis. And so coming soon, we'll have imaginary numbers, so we'll have imaginary solutions here that we'll be able to solve. But for now, there's no real solution. Thank you for taking your notes.